hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll give you the asian portrait effect that means the how to edit your the asian girl photography so i downloaded uh, some photos here uh, this photo and i'll give you that download link in my video description so check it out for the download link and check the video description for the uh, effect of the photo that means the asian photo effect so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications more amazing tutorial is upcoming and on the way so let's start the tutorial i just imported this photo and i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and then i'll go to the filter and camera filter if you are a user of uh, cs6 version please uh, update your just uh, photoshop into creative cloud just because of creative cloud has lots of uh, effective uh, advantage and it could make your uh, life easier to edit photo and do design in the photoshop so let's start the tutorial and here uh, in a phase you are getting the overexposed or highlighted things so that's why i'll reduce the highlight gradually so yeah that's good and then i'll add some whites like that for the balance of the highlight and the whites and shadow i'll give the shadow don't like that i'll make it shadow in minus 28 around and the blacks i'll reduce the blacks value just because of more prominent to make the photo so clarity i'll give the clarity three not but more than the five just because of if you make it like that it would be like uh, the lower key or higher key so i'll make it only three that's good and then the variance i'll increase the variance so a little bit 10 and the saturation 5 that's good and here's the temperature and the tint so if you make it cool then you have to go to the blue color but don't do that so i'll make it a little bit warmy like this minus plus 3 yeah around plus three and then i'll make it the tint color if i make it like that or like that so i'll make the tint minus three so the plus three and minus three the balance of plus and minus and then here is the curves so curve tone tone curve i'll use it later then uh, i'll go to the camera calibration is my favorite just because of primary colors are here red green and blue here is red that means the red tone that means the pink actually this one here is some red and blue in the eyes a little bit blue but the green is prominent here so i'll correction the color from this tab that means the camera calibration so if I make it like that yeah that's fine and the green color if I make the green color like that it's good but uh, all the face and everything just got pink so for the neutralize this one I have to use these options yeah that's fine but that's good yeah that's good from the HSL panel I'll just adjust the face color i'll make the orange saturation down and the red it will be up so here is the hue option for the orange color if you want you can adjust this one the luminance of orange i'll make it like that and the red color i'll make it down yeah and here is the options for the purple color yeah that's good the saturation of purple color and red color as well so here is the hue options so you can change the hue like this yeah it could be like pink and red middle of the pink and red so now fine i'll increase the luminance of red 
and here is the yellow lots of yellow so you have to just balance the yellow color so that's good and the saturation of yellow if you increase this one it will be prominent i'll increase a little bit and the hue if you make it like that it will match with the dress but if you make like that it will be greenish so i'll make it like that for the separation of green and the yellow and now green color the saturation if you decrease the saturation it will be like that so i'll add some saturation and the luminance if you make it like that yeah i'll make minus eight is good but in a face still the red color appearing so for that the red you have to desaturate this one yeah yeah that's good and yeah make like that and from the basic panel you have to add some shadow just because of here is too much blacks so yeah that's good and the fx from the fx option if you want you can make like that so i'll make minus seven that's good and the detail options add some detail like that and the luminance like that so now finally in a tone curve i i am using the tone curve um, lastly just because of um, here is lots of things if you use it first then um, you can't um, adjust with the camera calibration so um, for that at first use the camera calibration options and then use the curve tone uh, you can adjust your color for your photography and you can adjust like balance so at first the blue color i'll just give here the blue like that i'll give the blue yeah the rich color so then the green color if you make it like that no i won't make it so i'll give like if you give it will be green so i'll make yeah that's good and then the red color red options here is the red options down so i'll give the red this so in this point i'll work with the red so i have to make it yeah like that that's cool but green i have to adjust the green yeah that's good and now the blue here is another blue portion so here is so after that just adjust the temperature and tint make it a little bit cool and make it like that that's good let's see the before one and after one so hues change you are getting over there so i'm just making it i'm just saving this one save the settings and the asian okay asian effect and hit the ok button yeah the before one and after one so from here i'll go to the levels and just the levels like this yeah so the blue levels you can adjust the blue levels like that and the green levels as well so i'll make it yeah that's good and the red levels uh, red levels is okay okay and then the rgb levels so yeah that's cool and one problem is here um, the eyes is too much you know, like um, blue color so i'll adjust this one take a new blank layer and make it white take the brush and make the brush size a little bit smaller and to make the white manually so that's good and here okay and gradually just down the opacity of the white and make it overlay actually you have to make it soft light up the opacity so it's 
it will help you to neutralize the white color not uh, permanently gone so just select these three things make it snapshot or march press ctrl shift alter e and after that go to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro 4 i do always use the nick collection for the effect uh, final effect just because of it will just make your photo more explosive or like uh, the final touch uh, i do love that to give that touch so this one is the style of my editing i am using the cross processing and lots of method over here so i can use form here i'll use this one so strength will be 27 that's fine and then hit the ok button it will give you the output so it's loading actually yeah that's good and after that i'll add another photo filter for the uh, look of the photo so go to the adjustment layer and the solid color take the solid color like blue suppose this blue and make it soft light and you can change the light like this this or this if you make it wormy if you want to make it like this that's good so the before one and after one so you can take the another photo so i should take another one like warmy type so yeah cool green but here is the options to make it you have to find it out to which color do you want to give in your photo so i think this one is good if i adjust the curve like that so i think a little bit wormy should be nice and that's good before and after a little bit and subtle change of this photo so let's see the before one uh, faded things and after one the gorgeous and the prominent way uh, always i do like to use the uh, prominent color uh, and sometimes um, i do like to use a faded uh, that's the different case and i'll discuss it in another episode so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to download the preset please check out my video description and i always give there the stock photo and the preset links and what kind of resource i used in my tutorial so please check out my video description and don't forget to share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video i'm asmr if signing out today and bye bye